Hello, this is Greg Infante from Infante Ultrasonics. We're here at my private shooting range in Pennsylvania. We're going to shoot a bunch of machine guns, get them nice and dirty, and clean them in our new ultrasonic tanks. Hope you stick around. Check it out. Hey, we're here at the Infante firing range with Bruce Pyatt. We're going to get this Mac 10 dirty and clean it later. Tough Go job. ahead, Bruce. Let's do it. Good job. <laughs> here we go. That is All right, my awesome. turn. <laughs> Was quick. <laughs> okay, we got the Mac 10 loaded up again. And it's starting to get dirty, but not quite dirty enough. So we're gonna give it a more shot. It's more shooting. And it's getting there. Hey, you know, we got to find some more ways to get the gun dirty, so why don't you throw some beer cans out in the pond and I'll shoot them, okay? okay let's do that. Good. That's good right there. Okay, here's another mag full. This is the new S30, which is a shortened version of the S40. It's a 28 inch tank and it's got a lower price point, which everybody will like, but it's a full-blown industrial system with individual controls. So now it's time to clean the MAC-10 over here that we've gotten pretty dirty. Got the magazine out. This is a, an AWC Mark 9 sound suppressor, 12 inches long, 2 inches in diameter, has really, really good sound suppression. Here's the bolt, barrel, everything's pretty well carboned up. Okay, I'm going to put these parts right in the basket. And here's the uh, receiver. Always you put the dirty parts facing down. Okay, now let's bring it over to the tank. Here's your drain position. Okay, turn on the ultrasonic.
you want to tip the basket to let any trap air out. Okay, it's been about three minutes now, so we're going to check the parts and see if there's any carbon left. So, there's just a little bit of carbon up on the area where the magazine well is. So I'm going to take a brush, loosen it up for a few seconds, and then drop it back in. Now I'm going to grab the bolt. The bolt's almost 100% clean. There's just a little carbon left on there. So you loosen it up, go under the extractor a little bit, and then drop it back in. Now you'll get the, um, the upper receiver. Most of the carbon is gone. You take your 45 caliber bore brush, and make a few passes down the bore while it's in the tank. And that flushes out the debris in the chamber and it allows the ultrasonics to work at a finer level. You can also touch around the front, loosen up any heavy deposits that might be there and put it back in for another few more minutes. Check the magazine. Magazine's done. Again, if there's any carbon left, you can hit the follower a little bit. And this is all within less than five minutes. Notice that you don't just leave the gun parts in. You have to let the ultrasonics work, do a little bit of scrubbing, let the ultrasonics work again, and then it's pretty much done. Now we're going to take the parts out, blow them off with compressed air. That's all done. Nice and clean. No one burned powder, brass particles, or carbon. It's all gone. Blow it off the compressed air. Looks like a new gun. And now that the parts are blown off, you can go ahead and do the ultrasonic lube, which puts a nice protective coating of oil back on the part and displaces any moisture that you can't see. Remember, tip your parts to let out any excess air and then drop it in. Okay, so after three or four minutes of the heated ultrasonic glue, you can let your parts drain a bit, especially the magazine. And the, the lubricant is heated, so it actually will drain and flash off pretty quickly. So you let it drain a bit, then you start taking the parts, hold them in a towel, and then again, blow them off with compressed air. Takes any moisture off the parts and leaves a nice protective coating. Blot it off a little bit and then hit it with compressed air.
for a nice uh, close-up view of the finished parts. Okay, that's it. We hand lube with whatever lubricant you want to use and reassemble and it's good to go.